Hi, my name is Deb Marnie and I'm from Aussie Mail. Welcome to our Chain Mail tutorial channel. Big hi, hello, welcome, glad to see you here. Thanks for popping in and spending part of your day with me. So today I've got another weave demonstration for you and this time it's for the Attica weave. It's a really, it's quite a simple weave actually. But it's quite effective um, and I think you guys will enjoy it. All right, let's get into it. Okay guys, so here's some sample pieces uh, that I've done up in the various gauges for you. Um, I'll tell you what the ring IDs are and as I do that up here on the side, um, I'll also write them out for you and they'll also be down in the description tab. So plenty of places for you to look it up. Okay, so the first one here is our big one here is our 14 gauge, this is AWG, so 1.6 millimeter diameter wire. And the ring ID I've used here is for the smaller rings is 6.25 millimeter ID. So that's these small rings here and the joining rings. And then the larger ring, which is this one in here, you can see that. And see it again there. That one is eight millimeter ID. So six point two five and eight millimeter for the fourteen gauge AWG. The sixteen gauge AWG uses uh, four point five millimeters for the smaller bracelet for the smaller ring. Sorry, and five point seven five millimeter ID for those larger rings in there. The eighteen gauge version. The smaller rings are 3.75 millimeters and the larger rings are 4.75 millimeters. And then this 20 gauge version, which I think is absolutely delicious and would look stunning as a bracelet. The small rings for this one are three millimeters and the large ones are 3.75 millimeters. So it's, as I said, it's very, simple but extremely effective weave that I'm sure you're going to have uh, a great time making. Okay so as far as tools are concerned, uh, two pairs of smooth jawed pliers. So the ones I'm using today come from the Zuron range. I'm using a chisel nose plier and just one of their short nose pliers and you're also going to need uh, two twist ties or two pieces of wire um, or you could even use one piece of wire. I'll, I'll show that to you when we get started. A couple of paper clips might help, but you just need something to help hold on to the rings um, to start with. Okay, so to start this, we're going to make up a chain with our smallest ring. So I'm using our 14 AWG rings. So these are the 6.25 millimeter ID rings. So just make up, um, simple chain like this, three rings long, and we're going to need two of these. Okay, so there's one, and make up another one. Okay, so we've got our two short pieces of chain and what we want to do now is we want to take up our twist tie and we're going to put this through two of our rings so that we've got a two one chain and I'm going to put this, do this twice for both of them. If you've only got a single piece of wire you could probably put both sections on the same piece of wire but I just like to do it this way. It just that's just easier for me so you uh, do whatever it is that makes it easier for you but ultimately what we want to do is end up with our two pairs sitting side by side like this so once I've got them in the position that I want them in I'm just going to give these a quick twist to hold them all together okay so you've got your two pairs of short chain looking like this and this time we're going to need to take up one of our large rings. And 
And this margarine we're going to put through the second and the third of our uh, beginning rings here. So just go straight through there and pick them up. Okay, close that up. So now that ring is sitting on top of the small rings that are in the chain. And then we're gonna to wanna to flip that over and do the same on the other side so that we've got a large ring on each side of our work. Through the same, through the second and the third rings of our four starting rings. And then close that up. Okay, so your work looks like this. So our next rings, we're going to put one through here, through this eye, through all of our rings in the weave. Let me just do that. So straight through that one eye there, picking up all three rings, straight through the other eye, picking up all three rings. And then we're going to put one ring through here and one ring through here. So we're going to use our small rings for this. So take out whatever small ring you've got. As I said, feed that straight through the eye, making sure you pick up all three of those rings that are there. Do that to the other eye. So we've got two small rings placed and we want one off each of the outer small rings as well. So just feed that through the small ring, just the one ring. And then we do the same on the other side of our work so that we've placed a total of four small rings. Okay, so this is what our work looks like. All right, so when we look, our next step here, what we're going to do is we're going to have an alternating pattern. And I'll show you with a previous piece. So you can see here that we've got a large ring on the top on each side and then the next one we've got the small rings on each side and then the large rings and the small rings etc. So you can build this two ways. You can build it like we did with the first one where you put the middle ring in place then you put the top ring on one side, you flip it over and you put another set of the top rings on the other side which is fine if you don't mind flipping your, ring, uh, your weave over, which doesn't worry me, but I know some people don't like flipping their work over, they find that frustrating. So the other way to simply build it is to build from the bottom up. So we know last time we had big rings on the outside, so this time we want small rings on the outside. So we pick up our small ring first, and we go through that pair of small rings that we just placed, just go straight through there. And then taking up another small ring, we go through the other pair of those joining rings there between the section. Okay, so we've got those two rings there like that at the moment. Our middle ring comes next and we know that that's going to be a big ring so grab one of our big rings and like we did before, we're going to go through our rings two and three. Okay, pick up rings two and three. All right, so that's our middle row done. And now we're going to put our top row on, which is another row of the small rings. And we're gonna go through the same position as the previous one. So first ring goes through one and two of our joining rings there. And then the next one goes through rings three and four. Okay. 
So you can see now that where we had a large ring on top before, now we've got our small rings on top. And we just want to lock all those in place and we do that the same way as we locked the previous section together. It's easier to just go through the eyes first to help lock all three rings down. Okay, so we'll do that first. We'll go through both of the eyes. The eyes is where all of our three rings overlap. Make sure you pick up your three rings. You can see there that I've only actually got two. The other one's flipped down. So make sure you pick up your three rings. We don't want any of them being loose. Okay, and then once you've placed the rings through the eyes, we're going to go through just the small rings at the top. This time we've got to go through the two of them because we've got two. Here we only had one, here we've got two. But just go straight through the top rings. Close it up. Do the same here on the other side of your work. Go straight through and close up. Okay, so your work looks like this. So now we just want to go straight back and repeat this first section up here. So we know that we need, we had uh, little rings on top, so now we need big rings on top. So that means our first ring is a big ring. Again, as before, it goes through rings two and three in our, our connecting rings there. We'll close that up. We want to do our second row of rings, which will be the small rings. And if you remember, first one goes through rings one and two. The second one goes through rings three and four. Okay. And now we just need to place our top large ring goes through the exact same rings as previous, so through rings two and three, and close it up. Okay, so you can see you've got a large ring, small rings, and then a large ring on the other side. Again, you just lock them all in place with the small rings, and you just keep repeating that pattern. So it's really simple to do guys, you just need to keep an eye on the pattern and make sure that you're maintaining the pattern. Um, and you just continue like that until you've reached the length that you need. Okay, so we've put our connector rings in. And our next one, because our big ring was on the top here, our next one is going to be little rings on the top. Okay, so I'll do just one more to show you and then um, that's it. As I said, it's not a difficult weave. Um, I think it's, it's really quite effective. It looks quite stunning. So as before, we're placing um, our small rings first. So it goes through rings one and two. The next one goes through rings three and four. Our large ring goes through rings two and three. And then another row of smalls, so rings one and two. Rings three and four. And then you just need to lock them all into position. Go through the eye first. Make sure you pick up all three rings that are in the eye. Or that form the eye, I should say. Do that twice. 
then just put a ring through each of the end rings there, or the top and the each side ring. Oh, one through there, and one through there. So that's it guys, I don't think I need to do any more of that for you. As I said, it's quite simple, you just need to follow that pattern. If you lose where you're up to, just look back to the previous one and you'll be able to see. Um, I find I focus on the large rings easier, so I look to see where the large ring is and then um, make the pattern according to that. But as I said, it's a really nice weave, it sits flat on the wrist. It's extremely simple to do, it is a little bit of a ring hog. Um, especially in the, the 20 gauge it's not something you can whip up in a couple of minutes but it is certainly worth the time and the effort to put into it okay guys well that's it that's the tutorial for today I truly hope that it was of help to you and you enjoyed making this weave along with me if you did enjoy the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up here at YouTube share the video uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below the video. While you're here, don't forget to check out some of the other content that we have on our channel. If you're not a subscriber, maybe you might want to consider doing that. And lastly, guys, don't forget to give our link up here in the shop a bit of love where we sell all the bits and bo bobs and you know what that you'll need to make up this weave and many others. All right, guys, thanks again for popping in and saying hello. And I hope to catch up with you again sometime in the very near future. Bye.